makes his way through the crowd to the arm wrestling table. This is an exceptional talent in North American arm wrestling. A huge lightweight. This man has natural physical advantages that few possess. Tolbert with his long levers, his large oh. hands, is a very difficult man to defeat. But it's not leverage that wins matches for Tolbert. He is a ferocious force. Training with heavyweights, he has got massive power. Paul Talbot, the particulars on him. He can certainly use this money for his family. It means a lot to him. He's going to try and get it done here today. A second look today at the Jedi, Yanis Amelins. The Latvian sees this as a bonus. He's nowhere near as powerful or confident on the left arm. But believe me, Yanis is world class. Earlier today, Amelins against Alan Fisher in the right hand final. Trying to win 20,000. Here's a look back at the match earlier, though. Difference here in the first match, Yanis could use the superior arm strength and go through his opponent. I'm really not sure he can do that with Paul Talbot left handed. Look at it, Paul Talbot there, and look at the size difference. Talbot is an absolutely enormous individual. And the distribution of this man's weight is incredible. His upper body is massive. Not the case with his legs. I'm not going to lie, Ben. I saw this man in a pair of shorts. The last time I saw legs like that, they were hanging out of a nest. Square up, Paul. Square up. Square up. Elbow Great down. example, Paul Elbow Talbot, down. is of what you can do in this sport, Neil. He's a locomotive conductor by trade. He's here trying to win $10,000. Really a bit of an everyman. Paul Talbot is an exceptional arm wrestler. He's made himself a very complete athlete by dedicating his time and effort to this sport. And the WAL now giving men like Paul the opportunity to change their life by doing something that they love. It could be one of the men watching at home right now. Go! Away we go! Wow, massive drive! Tolbert out of the box, incredibly quick. He thought it was a win, he's claiming it to the referee. I'll tell you what, it was dangerously close to one. Giannis Amelin's now trying to psych himself up, wake this match up, and Paul Tolbert ready to meet him head on. The difficulty that Amelin's has here is that he's got to try and find a way around Paul Talbot because whilst Talbot has a massively long forearm and leverage advantage is all day, the arm strength is incredible and we see it there. Paul Talbot claims the victory early there. Look at that off the start. He just crushes Avalins to the pad. Nowhere at all for Yanis to run. He can't get around the length of the arm and he can't go through it. It's a very big ask for the man from Latvia and Paul Talbot is in furious form. one nothing. Talbot with the lead. Best two out of three here in the finals. Cerebral arm wrestler, the Jedi, Yanis Amelins, but it's hard to see how he can find a way back in this match. And he needs to be on his toes there. Actually got away with a horrific elbow foul there. But it's going to be of no consequence, you feel, because Paul Tolbert does not have a backward step in him. Close your hands. Throws his down, contains the hit. Great story to see him come to New Orleans. He gets the 20 pound hammer, the $10,000 in cash. Looking and back at the storyboard from Paul Talbot there. The writing was on the wall early. Talbot just dominant. Paul Talbot, congratulations. You are to some people what is called the dark horse. I think you're relentless. Wouldn't you say the same? I am relentless, uh, 100%. So you can hold that hammer up high, but what is this money going to do for you and uh, the family? This is a life-changing experience for me and my family. Uh, I can't even explain what this money begins to do for my family. Yeah.